Today, we are going to be building a table, a table which I think is going to be super simple in a perfect beginner build. So I have this big, thick, eight quarter piece of red oak that I'm gonna turn into my legs. It's surfaced on three sides already, so no planing or jointing it or anything like that. I'm just gonna cut it up. And then the hardest part is going to be the angles because the whole leg structure is gonna be tapered, but we'll get to that when we get there. Here's a rough layout of how the legs are gonna look. So we're gonna be mitering these. So we need to cut an angle. That way this can sit into here and this can sit into there. But they're not gonna be 45s because we have a nice little taper here. So to make life easier, I'm going to be using this digital angle finder. See, it tells you precisely to like the thousandth degree what the angle is. So this should make it really easy. I'm gonna transfer the angle that I have set to the miter saw and we should get perfect angles. Got the legs cut out and temporarily assembled. They look really good, I'm very happy. Now we are going to be marking them to put in dominoes. Don't worry, I'm not using the actual domino. I'll be using my Tian Lee jig. I just did a video on that. I'll link it up here if you wanna check it out. This thing's awesome. So I'll just be marking all the spots where I wanna put dominoes and then hopefully we can glue these suckers up. I'd say the dominoes are doing their job. Let's take it back apart and put glue on it this time. Next up, we make the stretchers to span from leg to leg. Okay, so this is how it's gonna be assembled. 
I need to find the center of each leg so I can line those up and then we're going to be using two more uh, dominoes to join them together. So let's get started on that. Okay, now we're going to flip the piece and then make the exact same cut. I don't remember exactly who said this, but someone once said, don't buy a tool that you think you're going to use. Buy a tool when you need it. And I need a new tool. And this is it. This is my bottom stretcher. I plan on cutting like a diamond shaped out of the bottom of it. So it's gonna be thin here, and it's gonna come down to here, and then come back up over here. At least that's what I have modeled. Now, to make that cut, I could try to use a circular saw with a straight edge, um, potentially make a jig for my table saw to make the cut, but there's a really awesome tool that I don't have yet that will do it really easily, really well. And that is a track saw. So, I bought one.
Blue up time, let's go. That first glue up failed. Uh, my clamps were like an inch too short to extend all the way, so I tried doubling them up, and that was applying pressure like diagonally. It was really funky, nothing came together square. So I just ripped it all apart before the glue dried, and then today I went and got some longer clamps, and I'm gonna extend them out. Uh, behind me, I did a dry fit with everything clamped up, square, ready to go. So now I should be able to apply glue and hopefully it works out better than that because that was bad. The base is done. It's done, it looks good. Everything's sanded, it's ready to go. All we gotta do now is cut the top to the right size, uh, screw it on. We're gonna be using some, um, what are we using? Oh, threaded inserts to attach the top. Uh, and then some finish, and we're finally done. So we're, we're at the finish line here, guys. We're at the finish line. Time to chill. Mm. So this board is an inch too wide for my planner. So I've been sanding it by hand. It's been like an hour. It might be a third of the way done. So that's exciting. It's hot. It's like 88 degrees in here, in the shop. No AC unit, but got the door open, breeze going. Topo Chico with lime. 
Wish I had some tequila. Tequila would be nice. But I ran out. Mm. <sighs> Sanding sucks. We are using threaded inserts to attach the top to the base. First, I'm going to be using this bit to countersink the head of the screw. It's oversized for the head. And then I'll be using this bit to drill the rest of the way through. Now, this is quite a bit bigger than the width of the screw. That will allow for the wood movement. So we're going to be putting five of these in, and then we should be ready to attach the top. Okay, we're done. It's finished. Let's check out the final shots. <laughs> 